Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're working on my buddy's 2007 Mustang again. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing his grill, so his stock one, to an aftermarket one. Now the grill that he bought is a chrome aftermarket grill, as you can see right here. And he doesn't want it chrome, which I don't blame him for. And while we have it off of the car right here next to us, we're going to be spraying black Plasti Dip and blacking it out. Now don't forget before you spray Plasti Dip on your grill, you want to prep it. Now I'm using wax and grease remover on a microfiber towel, and as you can see it's cleaning up everything and putting everything dirty on the rag instead of staying on the grill. So I've got right here both the top and lower grill uh, that we're going to be installing on the Mustang. Now both of them right now, they're black on the inside with a chrome top. We're going to be making the entire thing black. So I've got a can of Plasti Dip right here and we're going to be spraying basically all this stuff. Now you want to make sure that you get all the angles so sideways on top and then from the other ways so you get the entire grill covered in dip. Warm up your can. If you guys haven't seen my other videos on how to warm up Plasti Dip and get it ready for spraying, I'll throw up a link right here. You guys can click that and come back to this. I've already warmed up the Plasti Dip and got it ready to go so do a test shot on the side and then start spraying. For your first coat, you don't want to spray it too heavy. You want to get a nice light coat over the grill, however you probably won't be able to hit everything on the first coat. This is what the second coat is for. The first coat should be for spraying the front facing part of the grill along with either the top or bottom. This way you have most of the grill covered in Plasti Dip. Notice I'm doing the same method also for the larger grill. I'm using the same approach for both grills. So we're going to let this coat dry for a good 15 minutes, come back, and then we're going to hit it again with the second coat. For your second coat, you want to try and hit the areas you weren't able to hit when you sprayed down your first coat. You want to hit the grill from the other side now. So if you did the front and top on your first coat, you want to hit the grill now from the front and bottom side of the grill. You can see how I'm spraying from the opposite sides. This way you'll get every part of the grill plastic dipped uniformly and you won't have the possibility of any chrome coming through and not being covered in dip. Now depending on how thick you spray your Plasti Dip, you can finish up with a third coat of Plasti Dip right here and it would be strong enough and durable enough to last. I'm going to be finishing up here with a final third wet coat. You can see my arm speed moved right down so I can lay much more product on the grill. In total, for the, both the bottom and the upper parts of the grill, I used two cans of Plasti Dip just as a reference. Now when I dip my grill on my Accord, I only used a can to do that. Now depending on how intricate your grill is and how much surface area your grill has, you'll be using different amounts of Plasti Dip. So both of these grills are dipped and they're good to go back on the car. So I'm going to install these on the Mustang and then show you guys what they look like. So guys, after everything's all said and done, what we did today is we dipped the front grill, we put on some new headlights, and we installed the all-fit lip on the bottom of the car. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, please post them down in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. If you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching.